welcome back in this video i am going to discuss a new topic that is different types of language models i am going to discuss only about class based language models so now let's get started what are class based language models so now let's understand this with an example let's assume that you are having different colors of balls with you which are storing them in a big black box now i ask you to pick a red red ball for me what you will do you will go to that box and you will pick a ball from that and check whether it is a red ball or not if it is not a red ball what you will do you will pick another ball and you will check whether it is a red ball or not so this process continues until you pick the red ball for me so don't you think that this is a time consuming process yes definitely it is a time consuming process instead what i would suggest you is i would suggest you to maintain a different box for each color let's say for red color ball i ask you to maintain a red box and for green color ball i ask you to maintain a green box now when i approach you and i ask for a red ball what you will do you will directly go to the red box and you will pick a ball from that and give it to me so when you compare this process with the previous process it is very easy and it is also less time consuming than the previous one now let's connect this example in order to understand the class based language model if you ask a computer to predict the next word in a given sentence what it will do it will consider all the possible words in a huge vocabulary just like you are picking a ball from that big black box it will consider all the possible words and it will select only one from that but how you will make the task of the computer easier just like you have grouping the similar balls together in, in that example the same thing you follow like you have to group the similar words together which you call them as classes and the computer will pick one word from that class which makes it task very easier so now let's see the point class based language models are a way of simplifying language processing by grouping words that have similar meanings or functions into category called classes in class based language models what you will do is if you found any word with similar meaning or if you found that the words will come into the same category then you have to group those words so that grouping is nothing but you call them as classes let's say you have different animals like you have uh, lion cheetah goat dog all these are similar things like it will come into one category that category you call them as animals so that grouping of the similar words which are nothing but classes we call them as classes now let's see the next point instead of treating each word separately the model works with this group of words to make predictions about languages when i ask the computer to predict the next word what it will do it will consider all the possible words in the huge vocabulary but if you maintain a separate class for separate words then it would make the computer's task easier in order to predict the words so that is what written in this given sentence so now let's see this example in order to get the clear understanding let's say that i have given this particular sentence to the computer and i asked it to guess what is the word that comes next in the given sentence so now what it will do in general Uh, instead of uh, using class based models in general what it what the computer will do is so whatever all the possible words are there it will uh, consider them and in all those possible words it will only consider the one word and it will 
place it in this blank. But when it comes to class based language models, what it will do is it will observe this particular sentence clearly and it will find out that in which category does this sentence belong to. Like the computer will find that there is a pet word in this. So when it comes to pet, then definitely it would belong to an animal class. Right, so the first task of computer is completed, like it has predicted the class. And next, what it will do in that class, you will be having different words, like words like you will be having dog, cat, lion, all those things you will be having. In those words, it will check which word is suitable when I place here. If it finds out that dog is the best suitable word in this blank then it will select this okay i hope you understood it how it works so the first thing when you find different kinds of words is first you have to group those words into classes like you have to group the similar words and then you have to calculate the class probability see you have different classes you the computer find, found out there are a huge number of classes. There are animals classes, there are fruit classes, there are vegetables classes. In from those all classes, it has to find out the class which suits that particular example. How it will do that? It will calculate the probability of each class. After calculating the probability, the one class which is having the highest probability is considered. Next, after calculating the class probability, it will calculate the word probability. Like in that class, you will be having different words. The computer has to select only one word from that. Then it will, what it will do, it will calculate the probability of each word. And the one word which is having the highest probability will be replaced in that blank. So this is about class based language models. So in the next video we will be discussing about another language model. So until then thank you. If you want to receive any regular updates then please do join our telegram channel. Thank you.